Guys, I wanted to do a sit down video and chat with you guys a little bit about my story and my journey to health and fitness and how it all started. I hope this can be helpful for someone who is going through a challenging time or a lifestyle change because this is proof that there is always a way out and there is always better and you can always improve and better yourself. Hello guys, I'm Agnes and this is the Bites Fitness YouTube channel and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and let's be friends on social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter accounts with the account name Bites Fitness and you can find all the links in the description below as well if you want to check it out. First of all, I would like to chat with you guys a little bit about my childhood and about my fitness journey and how I started to get into sports. Because to, to be honest, I wasn't a sporty person at all growing up. Because I'm quite tall, I was always tall, even in my childhood. I'm now about 5'10"-ish. And uh, a lot of people told me that I'm not good at sports. I did some dancing when uh, I was younger, around 10 years. I did some tennis and horseback riding, but uh, nothing serious at all. And fortunately, I was quite lucky with my genetics because I was always quite thin. Not strong, but, uh, but thin, and that was quite enough for me. My brother was always the sporty one, my twin, twin brother. Uh, he was a soccer player, he still is. He played a lot of sports, he's very athletic, and I'm not, and I was told that, that I'm fine like this, I'm a girl, I shouldn't do anything in particular. Sometimes, like once in every two months, I went to the gym with my girlfriends, but I had no idea what I was doing. I did some cardio or something and that was it. I had zero idea and anything about the gym and about strengthening or anything. And this went on until college. Because, and it all changed when I had an accident and it was quite scary. It was not a huge accident, but I hurt my ankle really bad and I had to lay, in with a, uh, lay with a cast all summer long. And because I was laying, I didn't move or anything, I did start to get really bad back and hip pain. This was a very challenging time for me mentally and physically as well. This was the first time in my life when I uh, felt all this pain and that something was really not right. And I went to visit doctors, I started to go to physical therapy and uh, I started swimming because of uh, my physical therapist told me that uh, it would be good for my back and my hip. So swimming was the first actual sport I started to do in college. And then I started to get into other things when I moved into downtown in Budapest, I started to go to the gym as well and I started to go to classes and aerobic classes and started to do some weight training in the gym. Can I finish this video? Can I? Can you go rest a little bit more, please? Hi. Say hi. Okay. So as I mentioned, I started to get into gym training and I started to know what I was doing in the gym and then lockdown happened and I started working out at home and I really prefer working out at home. I find it really effective. It's a huge time saver for me because I get it done in the morning and uh, I'm really into home strength training right now and HIIT workouts. So, and not a week, not a day can pass. I usually work out five times a week and it's really a lifestyle choice for me. It's really part of my life, life now and I love it. Now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my nutrition because that's a, that's a funny story. Because uh, growing up I was horrible with my nutrition. I wouldn't even call it nutrition. I uh, always ate pasta and chips. That was, my, that was my thing. I went home from school and I always bought a bag of chips. It was horrible. I hated all vegetables, I ate also a ton of bread and uh, as I said, uh, I have really good genetics, so I was skinny and, um, <clears throat> and I didn't have any problems with it. 
until uh, recently, a few years back, when I had some uh, mentally challenging times. So these mentally challenging times, it was a big transformation in my life when I quit my day job and I went into entrepreneurship. And it was really challenging for me. I always had anxiety and not depression, but um, uh, depressive symptoms. And I did go to therapy as well. And these mentally challenging times did a strain on my nutrition and on my digestive health and I started to experience some symptoms with my digestion because of all the stress and anxiety. So uh, I had bloating all the time, I had stomach cramps, it was really bad and I went to the doctor and uh, I got the diagnosis that I had acid reflux and I had inflammation in my gut. So I started a, a diet, not a, a really strict diet, but I included more whole foods in my diet, more whole, whole grains, I skipped sugar and most processed foods for some time, and also dairy. And that diet stick with me through time, and I also, right now, I don't really eat sugar, I eat very little processed food, but I don't believe in fat diets, I don't believe in restrictive diets, so I eat a little bit of dairy cheese, I love cheese, but I don't drink milk or cream or any other things. I also eat some lean meat and fish and eggs, so whatever works for you, but if you have uh, any food intolerances or symptoms, you should definitely check it out and you will have a diet that your health will really benefit from. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you. Maybe you found it helpful, maybe you are going through something and uh, it can help you. I really hope you enjoy this and I'm planning on doing uh, some of these story time videos in the future to get to know each other. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you liked it and found it helpful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also I would love to read your stories guys uh, so please leave me a comment below, I would love to chat with you guys as well. If you like this video and found it helpful, please subscribe to our Bites Fitness YouTube channel where you can find a lot of similar type videos and not just the story type videos but recipes and nutrition related videos as well. And also please check out the recommended videos for you guys right here.